that that ended up being a little bit harder than uh, it looked like it was going to be uh, in the second half. What happened, and, and, and why did it turn out that way? Well, I, you know, I think we started out the first probably 28 minutes of the game and played Delaware basketball, got the 23-point lead, 21-point lead, and then, you know, we broke their pressure and got a couple layups, easy layups. And I think, you know, like any team, sometimes you relax and, you know, you lose your focus, and that's exactly what happened. And our guards, we were prepared for the 2-2-1. It's a matchup man more than it is a, a you know, a zone type of uh, pressure. And we were dribbling and, and keeping our heads down, and we tried to beat it with speed instead of beating it with patience and understanding. And so I had to blow a couple timeouts and, you know, lose my temper a little bit. And, you know, and it, it, it's unfortunate because I really feel like, for the most part, through the first half and probably for the first um, eight minutes or so in the second half, I thought we were playing really good basketball. And then we got we got sloppy, you know, it's plain and simple. There's no, there's no other way to put it. And obviously it's still, you know, they never really cut it. I think they might have cut it to eight, um, you know, but obviously we pushed it back up to double digits and we win by double digits. But I told this team at this point in the year, we've got to be able to close the door. And I've said that many, many times and they've responded to those remarks. So um, we just weren't as patient against the pressure after we broke it a couple times and got some some easy ones and and give old dominion credit i mean they kept coming at us kept coming at us and um and that's why it ended up being a 13 point win instead of a 20 point win but we need to clean that up and we need to, to you know take care of our own business um and and recognize that we're not going to beat pressure with speed we got to beat pressure with intelligence and um and so you know we'll work on that Let's talk about lauren karski uh, Lauren has played very, very well. Um, I think she's much more confident this year than she's been in, in the past. She's a junior, so the good news is we have her, obviously, for the rest of this year and going into next year. She's attacking the basket more. Um, her three-point shot, obviously, she's got a good stroke going right now. She always guards our best, um, the best offensive guard on the other opponent team. And um, I can't speak enough about how tough she is as a kid. So, you know, I thought she was really focused tonight. She came ready to play. Obviously, she put some numbers up offensively, and then she did a good job on the defensive end as well. And um, it's good to, to see her grow and mature and really um, take that next step as a player. And she's really starting to emerge now for us. When, when she can hit a couple outside shots, does that really open up? You know, oh, absolutely. I mean, they were playing here. a box and one, and they were they were crowding and, and really, you know, we did different looks for Elena to try to get her the ball. And when she can knock down some threes, then they had to come out. They had to play a little bit more man. Then they tried to play a straight-up zone. Um, you know, and when Lauren can hit those kind of shots, absolutely it opens up things for everybody else. And, you know, and as I said, she's confident right now, and she needs to shoot that. And the funny thing was, you know, we reversed the ball the one time. I almost said pull it out. We reversed it the one time, and as soon as it hit her hands, I was like, shut up, Tina, because she's about to shoot a three. And she had it. You know, she had plenty of time, and, and certainly she knocked it down. So, you know, um, it's nice that she has that kind of confidence right now, and we need to continue to have a confident Lauren Cora. That was your 299th win. Yep. Uh, Bring the elephant into the room, three, Kevin. 300 is, yeah. a, is a number, a nice big round number associated with immortals like Tubby Raymond and people people like that. What people is, around here. What is, uh, you know, um, it means to me that I've had great staffs and I've had great players, you know. Um, you know, I, I've been very blessed. I'm not even going to make jokes about it because, you know, I've just been very, very fortunate. And um, it, it's been a lot of fun here at Delaware, and I've loved every second of it. And, you know, 300 is definitely a milestone, and um, I hope I can get 300 more here at Delaware. But, you know, if we get it at, at Georgia State, that would be nice. Um, you know, th these kids, certainly this kind of year that we're having right now is really special. I don't want anything to take away from what we're doing this year. Um, so it's another milestone, but at the same time, that's all it is is a number. And, we, and we'll move on from that, hopefully, and get 301, 302, and we'll keep it rolling. So um, right now I just, you know, my players, my former players, the coaches I have currently here, the coaches I've had in the past, um, you know, it's special because they put a lot of hard work and effort and energy into it. Nobody wins games by themselves. No coach, no players, nobody does. So I've just been very fortunate and very lucky to have some great, great people surrounding me, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, so, you know, it is a, it is a mark, but... That soon will pass, too, hopefully. And like I said, we'll just keep on, keep on doing what we're doing right now and trying to become a better basketball team. Tina, the rebounding edge you guys enjoyed in the first half and kind of built your lead with. Um, is that the type of thing that happens when teams play junk defenses? Yeah, you know, I think that when you play a box on one, a triangle on two, it's a zone slash man, um, and I think it opens up some rebounding lanes. We got some good penetration from Akima in the first half. She got to the rim a couple times and got some good looks. I thought Tremay got a couple really good looks. And, yes, it definitely is going to open up. Anytime you play any type of zone, it's better for the offensive team to rebound the basketball because um, the zone is tough to, to 
to box out um, again. So, you know, that was nice to see. And everybody, Elena drew so much uh, attention. But she was keeping it alive, and I thought Parker did some really nice job of, of tipping. They kept the ball alive and was knocking it around to each other or to their teammates. And it, certainly that, that helped us in the first half get that 10-point lead.